Hello. <coughs> Welcome in, y'all. I just gotta do a few things, and then we are gonna be good. Before I even get started, I actually need to turn this oven on. Oh, that's all late. I forgot about this pan. What do I turn it on again for meatloaf? 375 or 425? Um, why is that so clean? Okay. I think it's 425, right? Is it about 25? About 25. I think I got one on the back of. 350 for 40 minutes. Okay, well, I guess I'll turn mine on 375. Unless somebody comes in here that knows. But I gotta get this music on. And. Okay. So, continue. Crap, I don't even think I, um, I don't even think I ended up editing my video from the other day. I think I'm going to make the taste for okay today too. didn't let me tag Anna. Let me see, did this ever put in the ads in for me? Okay, good. Sometimes YouTube, like, they put the ads in for you, but this is why, so if you ever go live, right? If you ever go live the next day when the video is done processing, even if you hit for YouTube to place the ads for you automatically, always go back to your live and check, hit the edit, the editor and then check where the ads are placed because even though you gave YouTube permission to place the ads for you sometimes you guys will put one maybe two ads in okay now if you have like an hour-long video or longer always do well you don't have to listen to me this is what I do I always do my ads between two and three minutes apart that doesn't mean that every two to three minutes you're gonna get an ad but there's a chance there will be Oh, welcome in you guys. I see y'all. Let me just tag Anna real quick because um, I was gonna go live for Anna's birthday a couple days ago. You guys, I have just been having a week. I had to move a couple couches. I ended up getting this fireplace. I had to help move that. It's been very, very busy. So we are gonna wish Anna a happy birthday if you guys haven't already. She is one of my amazing moderators and she has become one of my YouTube sisters. So I'm very grateful for her. So I just wanna tag her correctly and then um, share this out while the oven's heating up. And uh, Stanley, there she is. All right, so let me tag her. Let me come over to the video. Say happy birthday. Um, let's uh, wish Anna a happy birthday. Thank you all for coming in. Hey, Anna. Hey, Vinny. Hey, uh, Tam. How's my nephew doing, Vin? Oh my gosh, that picture you sent is so cute. He's so freaking cute. But yes, thank you so much for sharing those pictures with Riz and I. Oh my gosh, when I say it melts my freaking heart, it melts my heart. Hey Heather, hey love. Yeah, she does. That is such a fucking like diss. Why do you say that? Do I really look that tired? Do I look that tired? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> you look tired. How about, oh, you look nice. Oh, I like your little bunny bun you do every day. I like your little curls. You look tired, bitch. What? 
R.I.P. to me. I'm not tired. My back is sore. That's about it. And Anna going and freaking. Uh, you know, let me see if I got a knuckle sandwich in my face. I'm not a fact. Oh, I ain't got a knuckle sandwich, but I can whoop a pound of pork at you. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Luz. Hey, Kona. Hey, Luz. What do you mean you can't post until tomorrow? Oh, thanks, Heather. See, your hair looks cute. There we go. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. I think I got everybody. Hey, Emma. Hey, love. Okay. The Gucci. That's a compliment when you look tired. That means you. <laughs> Don't try to flip this shit. <laughs> you look tired. You look like you've been dragged through the mud and back. <laughs> That's a compliment, bro. That's a compliment. Oh, my back does hurt, though. Like I said, y'all, I am going to be 38 this year. Okay, 38 years young this year. Moving those couches in this fireplace. Here I am thinking, I'm like, oh, I feel like, you know, like in my 20s bitch moving this couch like gave me reality check like you're damn near freaking 40 <laughs> yes Lou. yeah so like moving this these couches in this fireplace you guys it like damn sure let me know you ain't in your 20s biatch you're damn near not even in your 30s no more like, it was like, boom, you're almost 40. Because I'm like, damn, my neck, my back. But, yeah, let me show y'all what I got. So, I showed you guys my couch the other day. I showed you guys my couch. Okay. So, whoops, cancel. That button's not up there no more. So, this is the couch I ended up getting. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. This is my first couch. I always got like hand-me-down couches from like family or whatever. This is the first couch that we have purchased that is brand new and not a hand-me-down. Okay. The first couch. And my mom, I got to get a bigger one. The TV didn't fit, right? Wait. The TV did not fit. So I got to see if I can get the part that goes in the middle. So I had to take the top off of my old one. And put it over here. But isn't that so cute? I sit right on my new couch. Like, who am I, bitch? Who am I? I'm retired, motherfucker. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to get a bigger one. <sighs> and I'm probably going to give this one away or see if somebody wants to buy it. Because I do like the longer, you know, the longer one. So yeah, and plus, I don't know. My TV is just too big for it. That's why I had to put this from the old um, stand. So yeah. <sighs> oh my goodness. What kind of meat? For the meatloaf. Yes, don't mind my mess. Um, uh, beef. I'm using hamburger. Boy. Why? What would you use? Would you use um, turkey? Alright, let me shit this out real quick. Welcome in, y'all. Lord, what? Hey, butterfly. Yeah, so I'm using meatloaf. Come. Cook. Okay. So, I gotta take this pan out. I gotta take this pan out. What should I put the oven on for the meatloaf? 350 or 4? Ah. <sighs> Oh, the honey bottle, is that what you got with your 10 bucks? Yeah. 
not just crumbly for me. Oh, see, like, I don't like pork like that. Like, once in a while, like, I'll eat bacon here and there, but sometimes certain bacon um, upsets my stomach. Oh, your pleasure. I don't know if I said hi to you. Hi, sis. Welcome in. Certain ground, certain pork hurts my stomach, so I don't eat, like, pork chops or nothing like that. Because this pain that I get, y'all, is, like, the worst pain of my life. So I'm just going to use, I'm going to probably take a patty's worth out of this because this is like a pound and a quarter and all I need is a pound. So I'm going to take a enough out to make a hamburger and it's going to be barbecue meatloaf, of course, of course, barbecue, oh my goodness. I feel so bad, you guys. So, neighbor Sam, you guys know Ruth is freaking hurt his back at work, and his back is bad. Like, he can't lift on his shit. Like, you're not even kidding. He'll be out of commission. Um, so, me and neighbor Sam, we moved the fireplace. She pulled a muscle. It's not funny, but like, if you would have seen how we were moving this fireplace, she ended up pulling a muscle. My like lower back already hurt from moving the couches. Well, helping move the couches. And um, so she calls her man after we already moved it from my mom's house. And her man like comes to where we live. He picks the shit up just by himself. I'm like, what the fuck? So I talked to her today. She's like, yeah, I like she's like her man is hurt and today i said well yeah like he just came through like he was like tarzan and picked that shit up picked the shit up like over his head <laughs> i was like oh my god and she's like my side she's like i pulled a muscle i'm like i feel so freaking bad i'm like I, I asked her you know we lifted it i'm like is it too heavy no we're good we're good i'm like all right let's try one more time i said are you sure it's not too heavy She's like, no, we're good, we're good. Oh my goodness. I should have just listened to my instincts because tomorrow she's going to Great Wolf with her family. Her brother's coming down from New York. And um, I feel so freaking bad. Thank you, your pleasure so very much for posting my cash app. I appreciate that, sis. But yeah, like I said, moving this stuff these past few days <laughs> like damn near was a slap in the face like you are not in your 20s or your low 30s like just let me remind you you're going on 40 just let me give you a little reminder I'm like damn mother nature mother earth like why'd you have to do that but yeah that is hurt it's all right I'm glad I you know, I ended up paying this food. He came down from, like, the city from Boston. I told y'all, I'm right outside the city. And, um, here I am thinking. So, I got it from Big Lots, right? And I'm like, oh, do you guys deliver? They're like, no, but we'll give you this third party number. I'm like, oh, dear Lord. So, I call this dude up. He's like, yeah, I could do it, whatever. And I'm like, can you take my old couch, too? 37 is young if you're comparing me to like a 60 or 80 year old but 37 like I don't know maybe it's because I got hurt at work <laughs> but like just moving this furniture it was like okay yeah you're 37 but you're an out of shape 37 year old is what that told me hey Cheryl hey love hey cooks hey sis I was just like god dang but yeah, so I called the dude, he's like, yeah, I, he's like thinking about it. He's like, yeah, I could take the couch. So he's like, 80 to $90. And I gave him 100 because like, first of all, I know you come in at least like, you know, 45 minutes away in a truck. I know that's gas. And plus he's taking my old couch and delivering the new ones. So I had called the city, right, to see how much it was for them to take the um just take my couch right i think they said it was like 85 or 65 
no i think it was 85 bucks right to take just my couch so he delivered both i had to help him a little bit but he delivered both of them and took the old one so he gets here and i'm like just here he's like uh is anybody gonna help me and i'm like thinking in my head like bro what am i paying you for i was like no i don't have nobody to help like if i did i wouldn't be paying you basically it was just so annoying because he even told me like yeah i'm just starting a um like a business so here's what i think he's doing right in his front seat he had an amazon jacket i'm thinking the amazon lets them take the vehicle home or something right because he had his amazon jacket in in the front so i'm like thinking he might he probably uses this amazon truck to move this stuff and make the extra money on the side right hey ron hey carl ron what do i put the meatloaf on for again But yeah, I'm like thinking, I'm like, you know, like I'm trying to think like, I know my cousins, they're like always busy because I have like a lot of boy cousins and I was going to like call a few of them, but it's like, you know what, I just want to get this ish done because if you guys don't know, um, they have President's Day sales going on, so that's why I had got it. I think the couch is like $200 cheaper than what it was. But it's so stupid because they charge for each part of the couch. The couch comes in two parts. And I guess people will only buy like one part of it. I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, Ron, what do I put the meatloaf on for? You told me before, but I forgot. Who has cancer? Your, um... Yes. Oh wow, Kawana, what a blessing! Three fifty, okay. She did say she had cancer. No, I never did that. I never fried it in butter. Uh, she didn't say she had cancer. Oh, Anita, Kawana, are you talking about Anita? I think you're talking about Anita. Alright, so I'm going to keep one hand free of all the mess. You talk about Anita. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a little while. I'm sure she's doing okay though. because you know she has her family coming i went down there i was helping her clean because her freaking back she's like i should have so before we left the house i guess she wears a corset once in a while and it like helps her back she's like should i put my corset on i'm like i don't know like before we leave you know you're gonna do it get it and today she's like oh i should have put it on I'm like 
it makes me feel bad. <laughs> I feel I feel so freaking bad. Oh my gosh. But I wasn't sure if her man was gonna be on time or if like you know, I didn't want to wait because my mom's on vacation this week. And she's like, you know, I really want you to get this fireplace out this week. I said, yeah, I want to get it out too. Because she got like a whole new living room set. So she got that like, so that's been sitting there for like a month. I'm like, yeah, mom, I know, I'll come get it. I know, I know, you keep telling me. Yes, y'all. Thank you guys for wishing Anna a happy birthday. I absolutely love when, like, my YouTube family has a birthday because we all wish them happy birthday, you know? And even though it's, like, we're all grown, still, when people, like, wish us a happy birthday, it just, like, puts a smile on your face, you know? Y'all know. Yeah, so I gotta see what this, um what this cake goes in as because if the cake goes in and at the same time i don't know do you all think i should cook the meatloaf and the cake at the same time i just don't want it to like smell like i don't want my cake to be like smelling like meatloaf <laughs> i don't know y'all know i don't be using my oven inside i use my stove top more than anything Yeah, it's been a busy week. Plus, the kids are on vacation. So, it's been busy, busy, busy. shepherd's pie but y'all I never I don't think I ever made shepherd's pie in my life my mom she makes that once in a while I know it's easy to make I, I just don't really care for it hey Brandon yes cake smell I knew <laughs> y'all know I don't know I don't know nothing about cooking bacon I should say so, wash my hands Hey chef, thank you bro, I appreciate that. Have a good uh good day. Do it separately, alright. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking to do it separately anyways. Hey Killa. Hey Jeremy and Cheryl. Ooh wow. That does that oh 75. Yeah, and like I said, I'm just gonna pop it right in. Barbecue me loaf, it comes, it's my favorite. I don't know, I absolutely love it. Since I have had the, like, I like the, the meatloaf with ketchup, like, a little bit. I barely like it with the thing. Bacon wrap, smoked meatloaf, fire. There you go, chef. I don't really care for the, the meatloaf with the, um, ketchup on it. But... Uh, since I made it with this, well, my mom, she actually made it with the, the barbecue sauce. And I'm like, I am never going back. <laughs> I am never going back to regular. Don't touch, don't touch. Boy, yeah. Ooh, she good. Ooh, ooh, she good. So, yeah, I'll just make this into a patty. Maybe in a few days. See, I don't like eating like red meat like so much in a row. That's the only thing I wanted. She wanted steak the other day. I'm like peanut like no because we just had you know steak and it's not good for you to be eating like that. <laughs> hey Ron. Hey bro. I see you had a premiere, but I was uh, coming on live, so I couldn't make it. But I'm sure you put something cool together. Enhance something.
So game night's probably going to be pushed push back a little bit tonight. If you guys are still down. I don't know what everybody's schedule is, but I don't think I'm going to be done in an hour. Because this is going to take 45 minutes. So. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, do you? You use ketchup? Thank you, Kill Cats. Happy birthday to Anna. Yes. What are y'all up to today? Anything? I was supposed to uh, have a baby today. That made me sound like I was like pregnant. I'm nine months pregnant. I'm about to have the baby today. No, I babysit this little kid. This little nine month old. Well, I think he's like almost ten months old. But um, his sister was sick last week. Good night, Carl. His sister was sick last week, so. I haven't had him and she's like we want to go ice skating but obviously we can't take the baby so she, she canceled today she's like uh, I'll call you on Friday I'm like all right whatever whatever so I have I have vanilla cake or white cake Vanilla cake. Or thank you guys for hitting the like button. I appreciate that so very much. So vanilla cake or white cake? I think I'm going to do vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. Hey, Tim. Tim. Vanilla. just want this, like, hair out of my face. So we'll do the vanilla cake. I need, well, this is gonna take 45 minutes. So, all right, let me get the potatoes going. For the potatoes, I am gonna use some bacon. I hope the bacon's not out. Nothing else. 
so for here one is all right so we have like three Walgreens in my city right one of them is closing thank god it's not the one i usually go to but you know what's probably gonna happen now because they're closing one of them i'm sure the one that i go to is like a the main one it's like a big one i bet you oh <laughs> I bet you it's going to be extra packed now. And everybody's going to be going there to do their deals. I don't think there's that many coupons in my city. Y'all, you want to hear something crazy? I got a notification before saying that I'm the number one couponer in my town. I swear at everything. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it was one of the apps I use. Yeah. You have the top couponer in your city. I said, oh shit. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Tell about pal, like I just got a gold medal. But yeah, I hope that like the one I go to don't start getting extra busy because <laughs> you better go to CVS and leave my Walgreens alone. Yeah, I'm sending a care package to a couple people, a couple of my YouTube sisters. So I'll be doing that sometime. If not later this week, definitely the beginning of next week. I just got a lot to do. Like I said, the kids are on vacation. I'm busy, busy. I put my mom. So that's nice. Hey Mika, I know right, I want some cabbage rolls maybe for Sunday, oh you did, <laughs> that's funny, oh lord, that's funny, White cake. Brandon, what the fuck? You stupid, Brandon. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, Brandon. You crazy. You crazy, bro. You crazy. Yeah, I made cabbage the other day. It came out really, really good. Like, so freaking good. But I am just so used to my sister-in-law's cabbage. The way my sister-in-law makes her cabbage. Hey, cousin. The way my sister-in-law makes her cabbage. I don't know. She told me the seasonings. I didn't have one of them. But, oh my lord. Her cabbage just comes out so freaking good. Mine came out pretty good. Riz liked it. Naya liked it. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, we went to Texas Roadhouse last week. I think I told you guys. Yeah, I did. And, um, so at... Outback, they have that blooming onion, which is so freaking good, right? 
Texas Roadhouse, they have something similar, but it's called a uh, Texanian, and it's like basically sliced onions all individually fried. But you know when you get the blooming onion, they cut it and it's open and you pull apart. It did not taste. I did not like it. Wow. And then that was the day they were given free kids meals away with the adult entree. I'm like thinking, I'm like, dang, why didn't that lady really tell me? <laughs> I was like, she could have told me. But yeah, so I've been like craving that Outback uh, Bloomin' Onion. I want to get it so bad. Maybe next weekend. Anyways, we'll get a drink and a Bloomin' Onion. Oh yeah. Have you guys seen the uh, Aquaman Part 2 yet? Oh, see, but uh, Tanya, it wasn't like a blooming onion, right? It wasn't like a full open onion. It was just the little pieces fried. Or how do they do it where you live? Because where I live, it was not a whole onion. Why am I adding that? I'm not doing noodles. At least out here, it was not blooming. It was like just slices of the onion fried individually. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting like a blooming onion, right? And then it, it, she like brings it out to the car because I just got to come home. I, oh my God, that day was so freaking long. I get home and it's like this box. <laughs> what the hell is this? I thought it was like tater tots at first. I open it. I'm like, this is their onion? Like, well, now I know for next time. I mean, it wasn't like disgusting. It just, I guess it wasn't what I was expecting. Do you ever do that? Or like, you get something and you're expecting it to taste like this and then it doesn't taste nothing like what you were expecting? I think that's why it threw me off. I gotta get some heavy whipping cream too. I forget who I was telling, but I wanna um, make my own butter. I wanna make like a garlic and herb butter. And it's really easy to make. more potatoes than I thought. More potatoes. But yeah, y'all, we went to Walmart the other day. You can tell people got their taxes <laughs> because they have like this overflow cart of just like mad random stuff. Like so much electronics. Like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I guess I'm going to do my taxes, like, next week. But it was just funny. And it's like they're walking out, they're still, like, all proud. And you know damn well, your mama claimed your kids for you to get that. So. So. <laughs> That's what the, I'm just kidding. Oh, none of my business. All right, so I forgot to set the timer, so it's been 15 minutes already. So at 6.15, it should be done. The meatloaf. Let's see now, it's me one time. I'll see. Yes. Oh, you did? Do you have a recipe for it? I have the onion. I wonder if you have a recipe for it. I gotta stretch my back. I'm gonna put you guys up a little bit. We just like pull onto the. Oh my gosh. You guys, if you pull on 
into the sink and just like put your whole back out, you feel it crack like do 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 like five different times. Tell me what you're ready to do. Alright, let me get some of my juice. You know, I wish you guys remember like back in the day when you would do your taxes and you would get like, uh, like so much money back for the kids. I wish it was still like that. You know what I'm saying? I remember before getting like, what was it? Like 3,700 just for Naya. It's like, what happened to those days? You know? What happens? I miss those days getting that much for one kiddo. back for the kids you know it's like it just makes you like appreciate like back in the day how much you actually used to get and that's at like a full um like full-time job salary you know i'm gonna fill this other um I just heard my phone vibrating. I tried to hook my mom's phone up today, right? She's switching carriers. Have y'all ever heard about this? They said that it can take up to 30 minutes. And I was like, what? And then I was getting these text messages on her phone saying that the account number was wrong. So I called them back, they're like, everything's all set, but give it up to 24 hours. I'm like, y'all just told me 30 minutes now, 24 hours. I was so annoyed. I'm like, since when does a phone take 24 hours just to transfer the number? It's crazy. Oh my God, that's lovely. So like, what number can we call you back tomorrow? I'm like, damn, really? It's like a whole hassle. Juice, y'all, is so refreshing. So, so refreshing. Hey, Callie. Ooh. That's my niece's name, Callie. I miss her. <laughs> Let's see if I got your notification. Yeah, 40 minutes ago. Baby, don't get it twisted. What's the Anna say? Oh, that's just VA juice. No alcohol. It's, oh, I was going to say, damn, it's only 3 o'clock, but it's 6 o'clock here. No, no bug juice. Actually, I've been getting headaches in the morning. Heck no, that's the last thing I need. Sam asked me, she's like, if I go get, um, if I make frozen drinks, will you have one? I said, well, it depends what you put in it, because I don't like drinks that taste like alcohol. 
I don't even really care for alcohol, but if it definitely tastes like alcohol, like like what Rich drinks, like the Hennessy or the Remy Martin, nope. I need something that tastes like juice. Callie, can you do me a favor? Share the live out and I'll share you out next time you're live. I promise to get you back. Hey, Mara. Hey, love. How you doing, girl? Where is my thingy, my jiggy? Here's one. I swear. When this little girl puts these dishes away. Oh, my goodness. Where's oh, the one? Are you city? Are you city? says beef lamb okay so 170 okay we go to I hate how sometimes when you put your hair up it's just been making you look like you got like a big ass bald spot like how it just looked right here like bro you know damn well my hair ain't like that oi happy hour for you Thanks, Kelly. I got you, bro. I promise. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the people that share me out because, honestly, it's it's a lot lower than what it used to be. So, like, anytime somebody shares me out, I always try to get them back. Always. You know, just because it's like, you know, they go out there that extra step to show the love and support and you see kelly came in here and what two three people oh i subscribe i subscribe i subscribe so it's like you gotta help each other you know you can't be selfish it's like if you don't want people to subscribe to people in your chat or you know like support one another then maybe just go on like a facetime video call so you're not like in the community, you know? But if you want to be in the community and you want to share each other out, then yeah, YouTube's the place for you. But if you're like, no, no links, no, don't subscribe to them, blocked, then YouTube ain't for you. Social media is not for you, I should say. You know? You gotta support each other. Like I said the other day, there is so many people, millions of people on this app. On TikTok, there's billions. So, if somebody wants to subscribe, they're going to subscribe whether you say it or not, you know? I think sometimes people just maybe feel like, the spotlight's not on them and I think when some content creators go live I don't want to say they feel special when they get like people in their chat but it's like maybe they weren't always the center of attention or maybe they didn't have like a lot of friends growing up or a lot of support growing up so it's like now that they have like social media they want to be like selfish with it and be like no only watch me like don't mention your channel while I'm live this is only about me and life don't work like that you know it don't work like that I was gonna have the medications that's weird oh. Hey Carla, okay, yeah sis, I seen you said that earlier, you were at dad's house. Just like over here stretching. Mm -hmm. 
thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up. I appreciate that. But yeah, it don't, it don't take a lot of energy or like a lot of your time to show each other support, you know? I mean, do I message you with it, you know? I want to order the next piece snap. you're gonna make me cry that's so kind of you that is so kind of you um you can message me whatever you want to do whatever you feel comfortable doing um i don't mind i trust you so whatever you want to do sis i'm down for it thank you so very much i really appreciate that so much yay it's the first of the month Woo Oh, wow. that's that. You made my little heart smile. Thank you. I feel so special. Oh, Lord. That's, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Now I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Okay. I don't know, like, I'm gonna get this regardless, and I know they call it like a Mexican kit, but the chamoy pickle and all that, I always wanted to try that. I see it on TikTok, it's not that much money actually. <laughs> Cass, that's why I got a tent. I'm gonna save this baking grease for when I make the rest of the cabbage. I'll have to cook bacon a couple more times to have enough of it. But the um, the baking grease inside of the cabbage, it really does give it flavor. That's why when people used to say they would cook with um, baking grease, I'd be like, ew, like, ugh. But now, oh, that's freaking hot. But now, yeah, for sure. And that's very kind of y'all, too. Like, to even think about me or other content creators and be like, hey, I want to send you something. It's just like, I don't know. So, like, softness. What's it? Self softness? I forget how you say it, but just like, you know, giving to others and I hope it comes back a tenfold for you. You already know I, I hope it does. But yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like I said, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. Ooh, I can't wait. does he I never tried it I see people say like the pickle cake has like a distinctive taste like it's not what you would expect but when you put all of the candy and stuff together it's good What are you making, butterfly? Kwana, what's that mean? Oh. Oh, really? Well, Kwana, you better get your little booty to church and meet you a, a hobby so you can give us some YouTube nieces and nephews. 
and then and then you'll get the check or quantum hit up your sister because you know your sister <laughs> be getting those checks bacon is good Hey Tim, how are you? Hey bro. Lard, yeah. Yup. Okay, Mara. Alright, love. Mara on TikTok or you got my messenger on Facebook still. Thank you, sis, for thinking of me. I appreciate that, love. Very kind of you. Yeah, I was gonna make um, broccoli, but I don't know broccoli. I was gonna make the broccoli if I was gonna do the macaroni and cheese. It's already six o'clock. So that's gonna take another. Fifteen minutes. All right, that's not. That still needs some time. So I'm gonna get the mixture together for the taste lady. Like I said, it's just four cups all together. So I'm gonna use the whole thing of condensed milk. Um, almost the whole thing of evaporated milk. And then whatever is left for measurement, I'll use regular milk. Whisk it all together. Whisk it all together. Oh, some burgers, yep. Prepping some potatoes, make some. Oh yeah, those are good. Yeah, cheeseburgers and some potato wedges does really sound good right now. Alright. Here's my whisk. Right Alright, so this is a cup. And yes, I already rinsed the top of the cans. My sissy is watching. <laughs> Why does this one look? The other one I got looks yellow. I got some barbecue meatloaf going. I got some, I'm going to make cheesy, like, uh, what's it called? Loaded mashed potatoes. So it's going to be, <coughs> who's that? Crap. It's going to be cheesy potatoes with bacon in it.
guys I am so stupid I don't need this mixture until after the cake is cooled down what the heck was I thinking why'd you guys just let me do this all right so I'm gonna whisk this all together and put this in the fridge put this in the fridge You guys let me make that early and didn't tell me? Wow. You did a live? You did a live this morning at 5 o'clock in the morning? Wow. Alright, I'm going to check on this meatloaf, y'all in the fridge. Ron, you going to be able to make it to game night tonight or are you going to take a pass? Mm. That's milk. Yum. Was anybody in there? Because, you know, there is some early birds that be doing the early lives. World. I don't know no Wayne's World. Uh, 
of water, a third cup of vegetable oil. Wait, is there a cup of water? One cup of water. Hey Six, say love. Three eggs, I hope I got three. Where do I put this on? 
everybody. Twenty-six minutes. Are you steady? Are you steady? Is so like six forty-five ish. Thank I appreciate you, sis. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, bro. How you been? How you doing, girl? Thank you guys for hitting the like button. I truly appreciate that. Truly, from the bottom of my little hearts. All right, let's get these potatoes. So these potatoes come out so creamy, but I'm going to have to warm them up when I add the cheese. I hate that. I thought I already had the sour cream open. these potatoes they didn't come out right because if you y'all remember I had made nice dinner and then I'm like oh well I'll make risenized potatoes later when I cook our dinner and so the potatoes were cold I reheated them and I don't know what the F happened but them issues just did not taste right I'm like what the it was so weird Line up separately. I don't want to heat the whole thing up. 
and so I'm just gonna put a little cheese on it, keep mine up. I'm just gonna heat mine up a little bit so it's, you know, crazy. sure this cream cheese is closed y'all this i can't stand like when somebody doesn't close the cream cheese so like that whole corner is just hard and crusty and dusty and musty yeah that is weird right i didn't know that they made plates either until i just looked at the bottom i was like ralph lauren okay Okay, Ralph Lauren, get it. Alright, y'all. Hopefully this um, meatloaf is done. I mean, I did take the temperature and said it was done. <laughs> but, you know, when it comes to me and this stove...
down. Crap. Mm. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, potatoes came out pretty good. I don't know if you guys can tell. See, it's like whitening it out. Stop. Don't wet my whitewash my shit out. It came out nice and cheesy. All good in the hood. Mm -hmm. The meatloaf honestly came out really, really good. Look at that crust from the bottom. Hey, mm -hmm. stay. Thank you. Thanks, love. Have a good night, sis. soon and then the cake has to cool down so I don't know what you guys want to do you just want to stay on live because the cake will take like 15 minutes to cool down Ronnie are you still in here See if he's gonna make it to game night. Anna, are you gonna do game night tonight? The meatloaf's a little spicy, but I didn't put nothing spicy in it. Okay. Yeah, I used to have issues with my notifications. Yeah. Now, butterfly. Thanks. Ah, uh, your pleasure, sis. Butterfly, you know, in that corner where the bell is, on the person's channel, how it says subscribe in their bell. You know, if you click that, you can put all, personal, or none. There's three different options. Oh, and you guys, very important information about moderators. If you guys did not see my video, managing moderators, you guys, have so much more control over your channel now. I'm a manager moderator on a few channels, right? I don't know. Try to unsubscribe and resubscribe. I don't know. It does that sometimes. Manager moderators now have access to add or remove standard moderators from your channel. Make sure you trust your manager moderator. 110%. Of course, trust your moderators, period. But for someone to have that much control over your channel. So I had um, changed my name, right? To Cook and Vibe. And it was weird because I would go into a few chat rooms and nobody could see me like I was blocked. But obviously I wasn't blocked. So they had to add me as an approved user. Okay, an approved user. Then I was able to be seen in chat. Now managing moderators have the access accessibility 
they have the excess to add approved users. <laughs> when I seen that they were able to add and remove stated moderators, I said, holy shit. Honestly, there's no reason for someone to have that much. That much access to your channel. But I mean... I was just like, wow. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. So yeah, you definitely gotta trust your, not only your moderators, but if you have managing moderators. To me, managing moderators are good because, say I'm live and I want it to be subscriber mode only or members mode only, they have the access to do that, which is good. Hey E, welcome in bro. Yeah. <sighs> but this cake should be done in about 10 minutes. And yeah, I made some barbecue meatloaf. Barbecue meatloaf. And then I made some cheesy potatoes. Ooh, the cake looks good. So I made a vanilla cake. <clears throat> um, I've been wanting cake anyways, but because it's my <laughs> my moderator's birthday, Anna, it was her birthday a few days ago. I'm like, what better excuse to make a cake, right? And just blame it on my virtual friend? Why not? Why not? <laughs> so, yeah. So once that cake is done, I'm gonna do the um, tres leche cake with the vanilla cake, and it's gonna be good. Mm. So yeah, and then I'll be doing game night tonight, so hopefully you guys can make it. So good. Mm. What are you guys having for dinner? I forget. I don't think you told me. So yeah, after, before I do game night, I'm going to see if neighbor Sam wants some. Mm. So good. If y'all never tried barbecue meatloaf, babe, are you in here? Baby, baby. so funny I 
I'm gonna go back and rewind it and see how long ago I put the cake in. So you guys can just give me one minute. Oh, I'll stretch my back. Oh. You've got too much on your plate to worry about what to put on next. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, he went to the store to get dinner? Just. Oh, yes. Yes. I have had a bad headache so bad where... It's made me cry. It's made me feel like I got sick. So 20 minutes ago. So So like another five minutes. The cake kind of low key looks done. So, what I think I'm going to do, because the cake has to cool down, that's going to take like another 15 20 minutes. I think I'm going to get off, right? And then, if you guys are still here at the end of game night, I'll frost it. Well, no, because then I have to let it sit in the fridge. So yeah, I'm just going to end the live here. You guys have seen me do the cake before. But tomorrow, we'll have a piece of it. Because that's it has to settle. <clears throat> like I said, once it cools down, you poke all the holes into it. And it's called Tres Leche, Three Milks. So I already have the milk mixture sitting here in the fridge. With the milk, the evaporated milk, and the sweet condensed milk. So, um, yeah, after the cake cools down, I'm going to, well, like, not fully cool, but basically almost cool, I'm going to poke a bunch of holes in it, and then I am going to dump the mixture over it and put it in the fridge. I have to pick up this mess, text neighbor Sam, and then in 20 minutes, I will be live for game night, so I hope you guys can make it. Um, again, happy, 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 happy birthday to my friend Anna Stanley. I love and appreciate you so very much. So, Luz, I hope your headache gets better. Carmilla, hey love. Hey sis. Yeah, and then it has to cool down. So it's already going on 640 and I have to, I'm have i going to be doing game night. So yeah, so I'm going to let the cake cool down. And, you know, because I don't want to pour the milk over it. And then have it not come out right. I never did that before. I always poured the milk when it was like almost all the way cooled down. But yeah, like I said, I do have the barbecue meatloaf and the cheesy potatoes that I made if you guys are hungry. But yeah, um, Carmela, I'm about to do um, game night where it's on stream. I don't know if you know what that game is, but if you want to come over in 20 minutes, you are more than welcome. Ugh, I have a little heartburn. But yeah, I appreciate you guys chilling with me so very much. Um, how long are we on for? almost a hundred minutes <laughs> so what 
six, so like a little less than two hours. But yeah, I love and appreciate you guys so very much. And if you're catching the replay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in 20 minutes for game night. Bye.